Whoa, how come the fuel station is so busy? Wow. Um, well, his fuel tank isn't on this side, so I'll just pop in here. Hopefully, they don't think I'm pushing in. Empty on fuel. We got a pretty big ride today, so we got to get some get some fuel on the bike. 95. These people wishing they had a bike right now. Why is it so busy? This fuel station's never busy. It's usually way too expensive, and it is too expensive. Two dollars thirty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, nine point two liters. So two dollars and thirty cents is pretty disgustingly expensive for 95. Just number seven. Thank you. Today we're heading south. I usually don't really ride in this direction. I usually head up north, go through the national park, stuff like that. Today we're gonna head south. We've got a bit of a big ride. We've got the drone packed, the FPV drone packed, not the built one, just the uh, DJI one packed. We're gonna go find some cool locations, do some FPV flying, get some sick shots, do some practice, throw some flips. Uh, it should be good. Oh, look at that plane. That looks sweet. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I bet that's like what it feels like when I'm in the FPV drone. It literally feels like I'm flying or I'm, I'm in like a dream. Jump in front of these people. Thank you. Check out the reflection. Ready? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but we got some new gear. I'm fully geared from head to toe now. We got some new riding pants, jeans with Kevlar in them. I also got a new riding jacket. It's a hoodie with gear in it which I think looks sick for the street. I really like the look of like hoodies on street bikes and stuff and uh, I didn't want to not wear gear. So I got a hoodie with armor in it, which I think looks sick. Gray, if you can see it in the reflection there. So we got Kevlar in the hoodie, Kevlar in the pants, proper boots, showy XSPR helmet. I think I'm pretty well geared up today. I'm wearing these gloves, so you can't really pass. This is gear. This is just cloth around my hands, but I do have proper riding gloves. But yeah, it just felt like wearing these today. Kind of worried it might start raining. It's kind of looking like it will. Whoa, there's rocks on the ground. Oh, jeez. Full on rocks on the ground. I don't know if you can see that. Got the whole highway to ourselves but i'm a responsible rider we won't be doing nothing crazy <laughs> got to get to a track to do something crazy what's the best way to start getting into like going to the track because i really want to i've never been to a sport bike track before obviously i need a sport bike i guess we could just take dad's zx6r it's not kitted out for the track at all though but i guess you can still do it i would like to get my own sport bike to take there you know, in case we do drop it or something it'll be my bike <laughs> but yeah i mean i've grown up riding on motocross tracks my entire life racing and stuff so it shouldn't be too much different i assume probably a little bit more expensive but yeah i definitely want to get on a track it's windy today very windy whoa look at this guy he's going hard on the highway yes can you see that plane there's an airport around here that plane just up there is gliding that's what i'm about to be doing in my virtual reality goggles wait a second there's an airport around here does that mean like oh it's not that close surely i can still fly right it's actually quite cold where's the sun sun please come out if you can see all the mist and smoke out there that is um back burning they're doing lots of back burning because apparently this year in australia there's a risk of the fires happening again so they're getting the back burning started as long as it doesn't get to what it got like in 2020 i think it was 2020 then we're chilling i can deal with this because i'll cut back to a vlog i did back then when the fires were happening you couldn't see anything vision was so bad and the air quality was so bad you could hardly breathe i actually got trapped down at the block with tom on new year's eve and it was pitch black at 2 p.m in the afternoon yeah, it was it was intense. So they're doing the back burning now to hopefully prevent that. So fingers crossed, no crazy fires happen this year uh, in Australia. The fresh food people. All right, we've made it. Now, how do I get to the location? How do I get to the spot that I'm thinking of? I need to find a little bridge. I've I've been here before, like six years ago. Oh, I think that's it down there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No entry, you can only walk down there. I'm cool with that, but first, before we walk down there, I want to figure out if this is a fly zone, if I'm even allowed to fly here, so. Right, I'm just looking here on the GeoZone map, so that is the airport I mentioned that we went past before. They have this little cross you can't fly around, but right here, where I am, there is no restrictions. The only restriction is the height limit is 500 meters, and that is the height limit of my drone anyway, so. Let's uh, walk down and see what, see what shots we can get.
Look at this, look at all these rock formations. We're in the boots, made this little hike pretty difficult, but we've done it. Look how nice this looks. Wow. Wanna climb up there, take the drone off from up there or something. We've got to be careful around the water, obviously. We don't want a disappearing drone today. But uh, yeah, let's try and climb these rocks in the moto gear. These people probably think I'm insane. <laughs> Follow this, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of a path here. We've got to be careful. This is... I don't want to roll an ankle. I mean, I guess we can't roll an ankle because we've got the boots on, but we could probably roll a freaking knee or something. Prop that up. <laughs> we've made it. Oh yeah, this looks like a nice little flat spot to take off. It's going to be a nice flight. So much cool stuff around. Not many people as well. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a fly. Manual mode. Mode is on. Let's go. Alright, we're up. Let's get a good view of the area. That's us down there. Woo! This place looks so cool. Alright, got to keep a look out on the signal. Let's change the angle up to 15 degrees. Let's go get some height, check out the beach. Such a beautiful spot, wow. Little flip. Look at this spot. Pretty sick shot. Heart's racing. Wonder if the GoPro can hear it. I haven't even done anything crazy, but it's just how it feels when you get into the FPV drone for the first time, every single time, for me at least, I haven't been doing this that long. But also, I'm around a lot of water, so. There I am. Woo! That's a pretty cool shot. That was sick. Let's try and get that shot again. That's a pretty sick shot, if you ask me. We got a little line going on. Did this last time as well. Lost signal a bit there around this mountain. Ooh. That's so cool. Ooh, gotta bring it up. Don't wanna lose signal over here. Whipping around again, yo. So much fun. So sweet. Whoa, whoa. All uh, right, we're gonna come in for a landing. We got 19%, probably a good time to land. That was so much fun. Definitely say that was a successful FPV session. Getting back into it. Haven't flown for a while because I have been away in Europe. You guys are going to see those videos soon, I believe. It has taken a while to edit, but yeah. Um, this is definitely not the right way, but this looks cool. Nothing wrong with finding new places. Oh, and that's the end. <clears throat> Off-road on the CBR. I mean the CB650. 
Oh, so we were just down there flying along that. It's a sick spot to come during sunrise, I reckon. Flips on that table. Got to keep that in mind. Oh yeah, we've got the whoop section. Sounds so sick through the tunnels, even though it doesn't have a cool exhaust on it. It's still one of the best sounding stock bikes, this one, I reckon. Look at straight. This is cool. We're riding in very new areas today. Back onto the highway. thumbnail that's a fucking cool thumbnail right all right i think that is going to do it for this video if you enjoyed this kind of video please let me know in the comments below let me know if you enjoyed the uh, fpv flying the pov the motor vlog everything and if you did may as well go check out another video because i know you'll enjoy it Come on.